So Dean, unbeaten run has come to an end here at Solihull. How did you find it? Our defensive display, uh, display was horrendous. Our back line was absolutely shocking. The minute tabs went off, we're all over the place. Um, and that's the, really the fundamentals of the game. It reminded me when we played Maidenhead away, and we lost 3-1. Um, yeah, not good enough defensively, nowhere near it. Yeah, and I guess inevitably these winning runs will always come to an end at some point, and Solihull will our top teams. Is that maybe some consolation we can take from this? No, not at all. I thought our game plan was spot on. We've dominated the game. We got ourselves one in front. Um, I thought we had a couple of unbelievably pen penalty shouts, like incredible ones. And then obviously they had that phase of set pieces, and then Tavs come off and they score within that. And then I thought we started the second half outstanding. We're on the front foot. Coach has got an amazing chance. Laurie makes a good save. Um, and we're dominating the game. And then our centre halves just go walkabouts and just play their own game. Simple as that. So I'm just going to have to work more and more with them, um, especially when Tavs is not available. Yeah, Nicky obviously got the early goal and then, and then um, Tavares comes off, comes off injured. Was that a pivotal moment for you then in the game? You would you, you see how important it is to our team. Um, and you see how bad our back line is without him. A late surge at the end as well in the, in the 90th minute. Is it a bit gutting for you that it didn't come 10 minutes earlier? No, no, we kept going. We kept going. They could have made it 5-1 to be fair. Nick, I think Nick made a good save at 3-1 on the counter-attack. Their game plan is very simple. Torn over, Osborne over to the winger on the right hand side with his pace and Kenlock couldn't handle him. Couldn't handle him at all. I thought Addy couldn't handle the front lad. I know Nicky scored two today, but he's got to hold the ball up better for us. And his general play's got to be better, especially when they start jumping out of tens. Nicky's got to duck down the sides more. I know he's got two goals. Um, and I know he's a good centre forward, but his hold the play's got to help us. We're on our way day today. We need the, the ball held up and stuff like that. So look, just individual bits where everyone's got to do way better, especially the standards we set ourselves. Their game plan's very simple. Sit in, frustrate us, catch us on the counter-attack. We lose all control of the game because our centre half start going into wide areas and start thinking the full-backs. They're not the centre-back. Centre-backs stand in the middle of the pitch. This is what we work on all the time. And they just start playing their own game. And that's exactly what happened. So... The blame's at their door, the blame's at my door for the selection because people can say, could I start at Brunty, could I start at Chelsea? No problem, I will look at that. Um, and I thought Brunty come on and showed his quality, showed his class as they toyed. We knew they toyed. We knew they toyed. And the biggest thing for me is, and the game plan along for us was to get to the later stages. They played 120 minutes today. They? Um, because they had 10 minutes added on within the 90 minutes. And our game plan was always to get not behind in the later stages of the game. And we go give away the most stupidest goals I've ever seen in my life. So but full credit to the opposition. There's nothing, they haven't done anything new against us. Like fair play to Wingy and his lads. Um, we've contributed massively to that as well, so poor. Yeah, and I guess it's not often you come away from home, especially to a, a place like Solihull, who'll score three goals and yet not get a point. We should have scored more goals. You know, we, <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say, I just said the defence was horrendous. I thought heart was poor today didn't punch balls forward through the lines as well as he usually does. Um, Glover was poor. Uh, I thought Chapman was good, a threat all day, good quality. Cropsey come on, made a big effect. Uh, so did Brunty come on, made a big effect. Um, Idris come on, looked like he had the hump, to be honest with you. Playing his own game, dribbling across the whole pitch. And at the end, we have a fantastic chance, obviously, to equalise. What we did show is we've got character. And look, I always say, John, here, look, what I'm saying to you, I say to the players. I'm not one of these that already called to be players. It's tough love. That's how it is. I'm telling you exactly what I see. Our supporters ain't stupid. You know, what do you want me to do? Come here and sit five behind, ten behind the ball and play that way? I can do that, no problem. And that'll be a tight game. It'll be nil-nil or something. Um, I want it to be 4-3 to us. I think we created enough chances to win the game, but full credit to the opposition. So it's their day today. And we just got to lick our wounds and move on to the next game. Yeah, nevertheless, like you said, move on to the next game. The next game does come thick and fast at York away. So heading into that one, is it the chance to put things right for you? Put things right, what do you mean? At the top of the table, haven't we? Uh, yeah, from the, from the result today to get back to winning ways. Just on to the next game. I don't like, I'll dissect the game tonight where everyone's out having a good time. We'll be walking, be in tomorrow morning, walking again. You know, the lads are in tomorrow to recover. We'll debrief this game and then we move on to York. York are good, really good. Overload it in wide areas. A good watch, two good teams that will play attack minded football. Um, and there's some of our uh, squad players have got to step up now and perform. I thought Kizzy come on today just from experienced players all over the shop. So them boys have to understand they need to perform to the level that's needed for where we want to go. Um, and like I say, yeah, it's, it's, I'm just honest, like, just move on to the next game. Like, yeah, okay, good. Like I say, it'll be a good game, really good game. Looking forward to the game, actually. Um, good tactical battle, so we'll see how we go. Thanks for your time, dude. Cheers, thank you.